Following the Revolutionary War that gained America her independence, the new fledgling nation had to do much to be really taken seriously on the international stage. The independence war proved to be very costly, and the federal government was rather weak. The nation lacked a strong staying army, numbering only around 1,000 men who were stationed in the West, and the navy that was established during its war for independence proved too costly to maintain and was thus disbanded. However, one event occurred that forced the nation to re-establish a navy and nearly caused it to break its alliance with the nation that helped them achieve freedom. In this video, we will be talking about the Quasi War. In 1794, the US government reached an agreement with Great Britain in the Jay Treaty. The treaty solved some of the points of contention between the US and Britain and encouraged trade between the two nations. By 1801, American exports nearly tripled, but the US lacked much in the way of a fleet to protect its merchant marine, which had originally been protected by the Royal Navy. This would be a major problem with the ongoing Napoleonic Wars. The United States declared neutrality in the conflict, but soon, disagreements between the US and France came to a head. And during its revolution, the US acquired quite a lot of debt with the French, and it had been agreed that yearly payments would be made to repay this debt. However, with the overthrow of the French government in 1792, the US now reneged on their payments, stating that the debt was with the monarch and not the First Republic. The French, understandably, were a bit miffed at this, and in retaliation, authorizes privateers to capture American merchant ships to be sold when back in port. The French government also refused to accept the American embassy, breaking off relations with the nation in 1796. In 98 was the XYZ affair, which was essentially the French demanding a whole bunch of money in order to even negotiate with American diplomats. As all of this was going on, American Merchant Marine was getting heavily ravaged by privateers. Over 320 ships were lost in over a single year, and the problem was only getting worse. In 1798, Congress authorized the creation of the Department of the Navy and the U.S. Marines. Congress also authorized the President to acquire, arm, and man 12 guns for this purpose. On July the 5th of the same year, Congress rescinded the alliance treaties with the French and authorized American ships to attack French ships within the nation's waters. On the 16th of July, due to the limited amount of resources at hand, efforts were aimed towards the Caribbean rather than the open Atlantic for anti-privateering hunting. Several naval engagements occurred following this until 1800. The American vessels managed to heavily cut down on the amount of merchant marines that were lost in the region and outside of one ship captured, didn't lose a single boat and very few men. Even still though, over 2,000 merchant ships were lost during the period, and the conflict largely came to an end due to the increased presence of the American and British navies, but also due to the more cordial diplomatic stance of Napoleon's government. The Convention of 1800 was signed on September the 30th, and it ended the Quasi War. It affirmed the rights of Americans as neutrals upon the open sea and abridged the alliance with France. The Americans did attempt to gain over 20 million in damages to its citizens from the French, but were essentially told off. So instead of the French paying for all of that, the US government took on the debt itself and paid it off in 1915. Now, like, seriously, that, that's how long it took. <laughs> 